Okay, so ito yung problem natin. And of course, if we have this kind of word problem, ang una nating gagawin is mag-list down ng given. So, ito given. Ang sabi dito, a company manufactures and sells two models of lamps, L1 and L2. To manufacture each lamp, the manual, the manual work involved L, L1 is 20 minutes for L2 is 30 minutes. So, sabi dito, yung manual work daw. So, may manual work tayo na... Pangat na swat. So, meron tayong manual work na L1 is equals to 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And yung L2 is equals to 30 minutes. Tapos, sabi dito, meron din tayong mechanical machine work involved for L L1 is 20 minutes. So, meron tayong mechanical mechanical or machine na work na L1 is equals to is equal to <laughs> to 20 minutes and yung L2 naman is 10 minutes tapos meron tayong duma Sabi din dito, the manual work available per month is 100 hours. So, as you can see, hours siya. So, kailangan natin itong i-convert lahat, lahat sa hours. So, meron sabi dito, merong manual work na 100 hours. Tapos, meron ding machine na limited only to 80 hours. So, yung machine is equals to 80 hours. Knowing that the profit per unit is 15 and 10 for L1 and L2 respectively, determine the quantities of each lamp that should be manufactured to obtain the maximum benefit. So, ayan, nalista na natin yung... Um, given, actually meron dito para malaman natin yung objective functions, makikita natin siya through this sa maximum benefit. So, dito pa lang, sinabi na 15 and 10. So, yung objective function natin is function is equals to 15x plus 10y. So, yun yung objective function natin. Tapos, um, since meron na tayong objective function, ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin yung constraint, pero bago natin siya makuha, i-convert muna natin to minutes to hours. So, conversion, conversion muna tayo, minutes to hours. So, para ma-convert natin yung minutes to hours, di ba alam naman natin na 60 minutes, lagay na muna, 60 minutes is equals to 1 hour. So, yung 6, so una natin is 20 minutes, so yung 20 minutes times 1 hour over 60 minutes para ma-cancel. And this is equals to 1 over 3 R. And, um, sa, ganun din dito, sa 30 minutes times 1 R over 60 minutes is equals to 1 half R. And, um, lastly, yung 10 minutes times 1 R over 60 minutes is equals to 1 over 6 R. So, yan yung conversion natin. So, since ito na yung conversion natin, 
Ang gagawin na lang natin is, um, ikakon, i- gagamitin itong conversion para malaman yung constraints natin. So, meron na tayong objective function. Ang constraints, ganda lang. Constraints. So, yung manual work natin, yung, ito yung magiging x, ito yung y. Ito yung x, ito yung y. For the constraints. So, una, yung for the manual, ayan, yung um, yung 20 minutes natin na ginawang R is 1 third x plus 30 minutes, yung 1 half y, and then um, itong given natin na sa manual R, work R is yung 100 hours, so 100. Tapos sa uh, machine naman, ang mangyayari is yung 20 minutes ulit, yung 1 third x plus 1 half, ay nun, 1 six, yung 10 minutes, I'm sorry, 1 six y, tapos um, itong 80 hours for the machine. So, yan, nagamit na natin lahat ng uh, given natin. And, ito na yung constraints and objective function natin. And, para ma-plot natin to, kasi ipa-plot natin siya, guys. So, para ma-plot natin, kailangan ganito. Gagawin natin siyang standard. Uh, gagamitin natin siya sa in a standard form. Pero, pwede din gamitin yung elimination, pero gagamitin ko yung standard. So, tatakpan lang natin to. Yung y, para makuha natin yung x. So, ito yan ah, para sa manual to. So, 1 third times something is equals to 100. So, parang gagawin na lang natin. 100 divided by 3 is equals to 300. Ay, 100 divided by 1 third is equals to 300. Tapos, 0. Tapos, um, yung isa naman is, ito, tatakpan naman natin to. 100 divided by 1 half is equals to 200. So, ito yung plot natin for the manual. So, sa machine naman, gagawin natin ito. Tatakpan ulit natin to. 80 divided by 1 third. Okay, so, 80 divided by 1 third is equals to 240. So, 240, 0. Tapos, yung isa pang point is um, 1 six. 1 over 6, 80 divided by 1 over 6. So, 480. So, 0, then 480. So, ayan na. Ipa-plot na lang natin to. Okay, so, nare-write ko lang ulit. And, um, ito yung points na ipa-plot natin. So, plot lang tayo dito. Yung x is 300. So, sabihin natin nandito yung 300. Tapos, yung y is 200. So, 200. So, gamit tayo ng button. Ito yung, um, ito yung, yung ipa-plot natin. Yan. And then, yung isa, 240. Sabihin natin, nandito yung 240. And, 480. Um, already siguro dito. Then, ito ulit yung ipapapat natin. Ayan. And, ang um, kukunin natin point uh, is ito. Tinatawag to na feasible region or yung any points in this region is a, has a feasible solution daw. So, ito yung kukunin natin. Ayan. And yung mga points is ito. 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 Tsaka ito. Yan yung uh, apat na points na kukuhain natin. Yung intersection yun sa 240, 200, and yun 0, 0. Okay. So, 
Ngayon nakuha na natin to. Ang gagawin natin is alamin natin kung anong point to. Kung an anong x and y yan. So, para makuha yung um, etong point na to, ang gagawin natin is gagamit tayo ng elimination by additions using yung constraints natin. So, para magawa natin yun, sige, wait lang. Sulat ko lang yung constraints. One third x plus one half y. 100. Tapos yung isa pa is one third. Ito, plus x plus one over six y. 80. So, para makuha natin yung point na to, ang gagawin natin is eta times natin to to negative 1. So, ang mangyayari is um, 1 third sulat na lang natin to lahat. 1 third x plus 1 half y. 100. Tapos, plus natin. Elimination by addition to ha. Nagawa natin. Elimination by addition. Yan. Um, negative 1 third. Negative 1 six y. 1 over 6 negative 80. So, um, chinat ko. 1 half plus negative 1 six is actually positive 1 third. And then, 100 minus, ay, plus negative 80 is equals to 20. So, ayan yung asagot. And then, para makuha natin, di-divide lang natin. So, y is equals to 20 divided by 1 third. So, 20 divided by 1 third is equals to 60. And para makuha natin yung um, x, i sa substitute natin yung 60 sa given natin. So, magiging dito. Sa substitute natin siya dito. So, magiging negative 1 third x minus 1 over 6 times 60 tapos 80 negative so uh, negative 1 over 6 times 60 is equals to negative 10 so negative negative 1 third x minus 10 y sorry 10 y I don't know, no, no. Okay, so negative one third x minus ten. That's it. Negative eighty. Magagawa natin. Uh, lipat lang natin to dito. So negative one third x. Then um negative 70. Tapos, divide natin to, negative 70 divided by negative 1 third is equals to 210. So, x is equals to 210. So, ayan yung plot natin for this. So, ito ay 210 then 60. So, since ayan na yun, um, gagawin natin is mag corner points tayo and gagamitin na natin yung objective functions natin para malaman na natin yung pinaka-pinakasagot and yung pinakasagot. So, so um, last step na tayo, corner Talaga, dito na lang tayo sa gilid. Corner points. And then, yung objective objective functions. Ayan. Okay, so yung corner points natin, meron niyang apat. Diba, meron tayong apat na points. Ayan. Yung mga point na kukuhain natin. Na. Four. Ano? Sobra naman. <laughs> okay, so. Meron tayong zero. Zero. Which is ito. And meron tayong 
240 nasa x siya and 0 meron din tayong 0 200 so nasa y naman yung 200 and lastly ito yung kinuha natin yung 210 and yung 60 so again yung objective functions natin na kinuha kanina is lagay natin dito function is um is b 15x plus 10y tama ba check natin ito yung kanina yan 15x saka 10y and then uh, ang gagawin natin, sa substitute lang natin lahat to, lahat ng points na to, sa x and y. So, ito yung x, ito yung y. x, y, x, y, x, y. So, 15. Of course, 0 lang naman yung sagot dito. Actually, hindi na itong sinasama, pero sinama na lang natin. So, ito, 15, um, 240, plus 10, 0, and, um, 15 times 240 is equal to 36, so 3,600, and ito naman ay 15, syempre 0 na ito, diba? Pero sige, natin. 10 times 200. Yan. 10 times 200. <laughs> 2,000. And lastly, itong 15 times 210 plus 10 times 60 is equal to 15 times 210 plus 10 times 60. Lagyan natin ang ganito. Three hundred, ay, 3,750. So, ito na yung pinaka-final answer niya, guys.